Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to make this darling little graduation cap treat holder. Um, you're gonna go ahead and slide it off and inside I have some Hershey Kisses and some Hershey's Hugs in it. So let's go ahead and get started. So how we're going to create this is we're going to be doing a little bit of recycling. You can either use an empty um, paper towel roll like this or an empty toilet paper roll. And what I did then is I went ahead and cut it into sections. If you're using a paper towel roll, I got four. Um, out of this, not quite five were big enough, but depending on the size that you want to make it. And then out of a toilet paper roll, you could probably get two of them. So basically, it's just going to be this small little thing. It's going to be about two inches high. And um, then what I did is I took spray paint, black spray paint, and I sprayed it so that it would dry quickly. And I could go ahead and start working with it. So after you have it all dry, then what you're going to do is um, you're going to cut these little slits. Here, and I'll actually show you on this sample is I went around one of the edges and I just cut small little snippets little slices in around that because what that's going to do is that's going to give you the ability to go ahead and fold those down to create a base to glue that top part onto your cap so then those will bend down and some parts will be a little stiffer right where the seam is on your cardboard there and so then you'll have this little flat piece here that you can go ahead and glue down your um, square. So what we're going to be doing is this is a two and a half inch square of black cardstock that I've done and that will then go ahead and attach to that to create the cap. And before we do that though we're going to want to create the tassel. And so what I did with the tassel is I took a 12 inch um, piece of our black floss and I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again so you get a nice little um, Thing like that and then you're going to take a small another small piece of floss like I've done here in the sample so you can create a loop because that loop is then going to be what you use to go ahead and attach onto your hat so you're going to take your piercing tool and a mat and you're going to go ahead and poke a hole right in the center and then what I've done is I've just taken a stylus here because that kind of helps poke it through and you're going to go ahead and poke that through and pull it through and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to put your brad in. So then you've got your tassel thing hanging off there. Make sure I move that so you have some more ability to see. And so then the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie a, I took uh, four inches and, um, and I tied that in a little knot giving it kind of another um, loop on there. And then we can go ahead and trim down all the ends so that they're all the same length. And that is going to create your tassel that can hang off of your hat. So again, you're going to go ahead and I use one of our bigger brads to put that in there. Let's see if I can put it to the side. It's kind of hard with all that black on black. Um, but that's going to hold it right in place there. And then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and I took a glue gun and I put it directly here on these little flaps. So then I could put this piece down and with that glue on there, that hot glue, I went ahead and I pushed it into place and let it hold. And it's going to have a nice really solid hold to it and quick. And then that's what you're going to have there is that hat with a nice tassel and the bigger brad on top. So then, because I didn't want um, the recipients to have to break open the bottom to get to their candy, I kind of did the same idea for the base. Um, but obviously I needed a smaller, smaller cylinder to go inside of that cap, so I created my own little tubes. And to do that, I took that same black cardstock that I used before, and I used two inches by five and a quarter. And then still, again, using my hot glue gun, I made a tube, I glued that together, and then once I have that glued together, I have this nice little tube, and it's skinnier than the other one, so that it fits really nice right inside there. And um, I wanted it to have a base so they had something to grab on, since obviously they can hold onto the top of the hat to pull. So I punched out a um, two-inch scallop circle to be the base, and did the same process that I had done previously, where I went around and I made little slits, little snips, so that I could fold that down. And then again, put my hot glue right here around this circle and then put it upside down to glue it on there and give it a nice hold. And then that way you've got another quick hold again. And then you're just going to go ahead and fill it with Hershey Kisses and Hershey Hugs or whatever candy that you want to. And then the top is going to just slide really nice on top just like that. And you've got this darling little hat, graduation hat. And the nice thing about this project is that you could go ahead and use the same concept to create actual graduation hats that you could wear. Um, so it's a very functional, useful little idea. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something fun and thanks for stopping by.